Hey, um, before this video starts, um, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you want to be in a reading your comments video, you will be guaranteed. I'm um, sorry I s forgot to say at the beginning of the video, so, um, now you have to watch the video, and I say it later, so that's kind of annoying, but yeah. Enjoy the video. What is up, Broncos Nation? Guess what? We just won another game. We just won against the Jaguars, uh, 20 to 10. It's a pretty crazy game. Um, I'm super excited that we won. Pretty crazy. Um, actually, so we we're dominating most of the game, but at the end, actually, there was a chance the Jaguars came uh, come back, but they didn't, and we won. I'm just gonna go through uh, the scoring plays and then talk about the f uh, future weeks. So the game started. Um, I th believe. Uh, we started with the ball, I think. Um, we didn't do anything. We had three and out. They went three and out. Then we went three and out, and they went three and out. Like, it was like that. So, there were some first downs, but it was pretty defensive. Um, our offense didn't look as bad as it did at the start of the, uh, Chiefs game, though. So, that's good. Uh, Paxton Lynch did pretty good, um, throughout the whole game. Um, like, he didn't turnover there was a few passes that were pretty bad but like he didn't have very bad of a game so uh good job Paxton uh, he also ran for um uh, a few yards too so that's cool um next uh so we went going into the second quarter um the first points on the board was Brandon McManus. He scored um, a field goal to for the first score of the game. We had a pretty good drive on that drive. Um, yeah, so, and then after that, we had Devontae Booker running for six yards. That was a great drive. Um, yeah, we got all the way to the touchdown. Um, Devontae Booker had a pretty cool um, run. You should see it later. Um, you can actually see it on my Twitter, but um, he ran, kind of got stopped, got out of it, just kept pushing, got um, the first touch in the game. And then um, later, the Jaguars would kick field goals, so that would make it 10-3, and that was the end of the half uh, score was 10-3. Um, by the way, this game was not nearly as crazy as like the Chiefs game or other games this season. But it was it was pretty close. Um, and then going to the third quarter um, was this. So the offenses were getting a little bit more done. But uh, this was a great play. Um, the Jaguars on offense. Um, Blake Bortles just nearly like gets out of getting sacked. And then um, what he out of what he could see, um, he could only see a receiver open because all of his blockers in front of him. So he threw it, but he did not see number 29, Bradley Roby, coming out of nowhere. So he just easily intercepted the ball and ran all the way for a touchdown. So it, that was a pick six. Great, great. Um, that was probably the best play of the game. So, um, and yeah, and then they kicked a field goal to make it 17 to 3. Uh, so that was cool. And they go in the fourth quarter, um, not 17-3. to three. No, I think I'm right. Yeah, 17-3, sorry. Um, so after that, that was, that was the only um, scoring plays, uh, uh, only uh, points put up in the third quarter was only that pick six, which is awesome. Oh, and before that, um, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, uh, Chris Harris Jr. had this awesome interception. Um, it's where um, uh, I forgot the wide receiver's name. Uh, I think actually I, I don't remember, but he caught it, kind of bobbled it up, and Chris Harris Jr. is just like kind of bobbling with it, caught it, and went um, like 20 yards. So that's cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, <clears throat> Then, by the way, I'll put the highlights to this game in the description. And if I don't, that means I forgot. So, yeah. Um, 
Then in the fourth quarter, uh, Blake Bortles actually um, ran for like so they had a, I had a pretty good drive, and then he, uh, they were about I'd say 20 yards from the end zone, and uh, Blake Bortles just snapped it. Everyone was covered, and just no one was in the middle, so he ran all the way for a touchdown. Um, so that was the Jaguars' first touchdown. That would make it 10-17, uh, so it was actually a close game at the end. Um, but then when the Jaguars had it again, uh, at the very end of the game, there was just a few seconds left, like uh, 30, 40 seconds left. Um, he would, He snapped it. He was going back. Um, Vaughn Miller uh, came and hit the ball out um, at a boy Vaughn, and then um, Shane Ray picked it up. So uh, that gave us possession. So it looked like it's then the game. We kicked field goal, and then it was the end of the game. Um, it was a pretty pretty good game. It wasn't like we crushed them, but yeah. Also, before I get into this next talk, please leave a comment down there because um, if you comment you'll be in a reading comments video hashtag guaranteed um so do that if you want to be in reading comments video but so this is not the end of the video because i want to talk about the rest of the broncos schedule so everyone's talking about how we have no chance and we're not going to make it to the playoffs well at least here i'm hearing a lot of that talk which um yeah it's going to be hard but it's been hard before um, we need the Chiefs to start losing some games, which I actually don't know, um, how they did. Let me just check that real quick. Holy crap. Chiefs won by one point against the Falcons. Jeez. So we need them to start losing games. Stinks that they won this week. Um, because forget the Raiders. The Raiders are going to win. Um, and sadly, I have to say this, I we need the Dolphins to start losing too, which I usually like the Dolphins because they, like, they beat the Patriots, which um, let us get the first seed in the playoffs last year. The Mi Miami beat the Patriots in the Patriots' last game of the season, giving us first seed. So um, thank you, Miami, but I need to start losing. Because um, they actually have the other wild card spot, the Chiefs do, and then the um, Dolphins for the AFC. So I need the uh, Dolphins to start losing, the Chiefs to start losing. The Raiders have already won the division. It's kind of obvious. Oh, well, I mean, the Chiefs can come win the division, but if they do, then we have no chance because they'll both have uh, so many more winning games than we do. But um, the next game will be um, against the Titans at um, 1 o'clock Eastern time zone. Uh, that'll be December 11th. So that'll be kind of a crazy, oh, excuse me, um, a crazy game. Because um, we're in Tennessee and the Titans, um, you might underestimate them, but they've had some pretty amazing games this year. Since it's in Tennessee, it'll be kind of a tough game, but easier than the last three games. Because the last three games, well, every other, every game from now on is a must-win game, like 100% guaranteed because, um, yeah, we can't lose anymore. That's why, because we lost the Chiefs, it's it's terrible. But um, we have the Titans in Tennessee. Uh... So that one will be kind of hard. And then we have the Patriots. Um, yeah, the Patriots. Luckily, it's in Denver, and we usually beat the Patriots when we're in Denver. Uh, so that's good. And then we will be against the Chiefs again for the second time um, in Kansas City because they beat us in Denver. So that'll be, uh, I think that'll be harder than the Patriots game even. Um and that will definitely, like, that's the biggest game for the rest of the year is the Broncos at Chiefs. Um, and then the final game will be against the Raiders in Denver. And, yeah, that'll be the final game of the season if we don't make the playoffs. So that's kind of sad if 
because, yeah, if we don't make the playoffs, football's almost over. That's really sad. <laughs> Just realizing. But um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, go Broncos. We're going to cheer them on in Tennessee. Please go check out my Twitter, at UglyKid1111. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. Please leave a comment down below if you want to be in your comments video. Um, yeah, that's it. Go Broncos. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Wait, before we go, um, I just found out. I just remembered as I was editing this that um, there. this is my 50th video. So, yay! Go Broncos. Of course, Broncos win my 50th video. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment.